introduce the co-chairs of the vision team that have been working not only on this day, but on our vision document. Tim Baer, representing the Central Pennsylvania Conference, and Beth Jones from the Wyoming Conference are our co-leaders. Well, it's great to be here, isn't it? Yes? Yeah. Uh, what new possibilities uh, lie before us? Uh, as mentioned, my name is Tim Baer at Central Pennsylvania Conference, and along with Beth Jones from Wyoming Conference, we have the privilege of uh, co-chairing uh, the Vision uh, Task Force, or Vision Team. The Vision Team is composed of a number of persons uh, from uh, each of the annual conferences. The vision team is really a great uh, team of gifted persons, each bringing God-given abilities as well as particular knowledge and expertise. Our task is and has been to lift up a vision for our life together as a new annual conference and to provide touchstones along the way to engage that vision. Now, as we registered this morning, I don't know whether you noticed the timeline, uh, but our communicators have put that together, and 16 months from tomorrow will be July 1, 2010. <laughs> that sucked the air out of the room. <laughs> that uh, is both a challenge, but also a huge opportunity. So our task has been and will be to lift up this vision of our life together as a new annual conference. As the vision team has met and come this far, it's been an amazing journey. I know I'll speak for myself and hopefully for the whole team that it has been an amazing journey of building relationships, of seeking God's direction, of discerning the movement of the Holy Spirit, discerning the challenges that the Holy Spirit has placed before us, of recognizing the incredible raw materials we have to build a new annual conference, our rich histories, our physical resources, our monetary resources, our community resources, our people resources, our church resources on a variety of levels. Vision Team has had this incredible synergy. A synergy that has allowed a safe environment where people can offer the best in possibility, group discernment without defensiveness and without protectionism. A conversation where earnestly we have sought our best as we move forward in this new adventure. The vision team is trying to hold before us the big picture, to facilitate the vision, and to recognize that many of the nuts and bolts and the details will emerge in our work together and separately. The vision team, as a vision team, we want to encourage us all to build relationships, part of what today is about, building relationships and also to align all of us to, to the vision and to challenge us to glean the best, the best from our past and at the same time to imagine new possibilities as we step into God's future with us together. As we do that, uh, Beth is going to share a little bit, draw our attention to the vision document itself. I wish you could see what I see from up here. This is an exciting uh, vantage point to, uh, besides looking like a Nebraska football uh, team, uh, it is exciting to see faces intermingled from the two conferences and to see and to imagine what is before us today. Oh, I'm a huge Penn State fan. No, no, no. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to put you with that, that group. If you could pull out that document and just take a look at the first couple of pages, you'll see there uh, how the vision team began their thinking together, and it was as so many folks have brought to you today, based in scripture. And uh, this Isaiah passage 
was so powerful to us, included in that the idea that God names us, that God calls us, and that God challenges us. And we felt all those feelings and those emotions as we work together. And we hope that as you keep coming back to this scripture, that your task force, your committee, your group is going to feel that emerging as well. All of those emotions, uh, all of those challenges. As scripture becomes our basis, you'll see that as the beginning part of the document. And we hope that throughout the day today, you continue to go back to that. And, and Mike said it so well in, in the presentation. Please uh, pray often. Pray often over the scripture. Pray often over passages that might be a challenge to you. And most of all, see how they interconnect with the workings of your team together. Uh, close on the heels of the scripture is the vision. And uh, I, I really love visioning. I'm one who likes to, to uh, brainstorm, but I think I felt the tug, as all of us did throughout this last year, of wanting to nail down some of the nuts and bolts, of wanting to create structure. And thankfully, we were able to hold each other accountable to the fact that that's not why we're together. That's not why you're here today, either. As, oh, as much as you want to begin to do that, continue to keep that vision before you, to look ahead, to keep, uh, as the bishop said, the main thing, the main thing, uh, as hard as it is not to focus on structure first, to keep the vision and the scripture ahead. Followed by the vision, you have the mission uh, of our new annual conference, which is not to, to micromanage individual churches, but rather to empower individuals and local churches uh, with leadership, with resources, and with connectionalism. Our core values are listed there as waypoints to help us keep diverse ideas and diverse people in the mix. To be attuned to God's surprises and to keep us uh, humble and faithful in being sure that we are inclusive and diverse and keep open to the different ideas that may be out there kind of tugging on our shirt sleeves, that we do not neglect them, but uh, even the craziest of ideas we can share together. And from that, uh, we don't know what will spring forth. And finally, the covenant follows, and that is, to me, uh, that word covenant, you're gonna, we're going to see that coming up a lot through Lent in the Old Testament passages. That idea that God is faithful to us and we are invited to be in relationship with God and with each other. That we covenant to hold ourselves accountable to the vision, to scripture, to Christ as the center of all that we do. And I think that's what's so exciting about this new conference is everything that we have done so far has called us to keep Christ at the center and keep that vision before us. Just a quick uh, story. Whenever my son was young, uh, we went to the park and uh, he joined with some, at that point, strangers in the sandbox to play. And as they played, they built a, a sand castle. Uh, whenever it was time to leave, uh, he didn't want to leave. And one of the things that he kept saying was, I want to stay with my friends. An hour earlier, they were total strangers. And uh, later, uh, as we talked, I asked him, I said, well, how did they become friends so quickly? And he simply said, because we worked on a sand castle together and we built it together, that made us friends. Now that has sort of stuck with me. It came back to me as an image as I worked with the vision team. In a very short time, as we try to work together, build something together, we have become friends. May it be so with all of us as we, as we engage in this new adventure, a new annual conference, where we will be friends as sisters and brothers in Christ in incredible ways and we haven't even begun to realize all the ways that that will produce. So, God's grace with all of us. 
as we step into God's future. Amen? Amen.